have you ever um, been in a situation where there is a conflict between people believing in OKRs, um, steering and guiding an organization towards the Trinity goal, and the conflict of using SAFE? So how do you use SAFE together with OKRs? Well, I've been seeing that in many organizations. And uh, what I want to do here is try to bridge the gap by keeping things really simple today. So what we try to achieve and the question we need to answer is why we are doing stuff in order to know what to skip, what to not do, we need to know the why and the direction that, we're, that we are aiming for. So we need to talk more about strategy. And we do that in SAFE, since long, in the strategic themes. We have them as a communication pattern between the portfolio and the portfolio collaborations and the enterprise as a whole. This is where we meet. This is where we collaborate around where we are going in a short or long term. Nowadays, we express the strategic themes as objectives and key results. It's about creating that precious alignment between the trains, between the value streams, and the rest of the organization. A lot of the times, we use the same patterns when we talk about business alignment, right? So when, this, when the development value streams and the agile release trains try to achieve their goals, they are achieving the goals of the operational value streams. So if we have a pattern of communicating the values, the strategic directions that we are trying to achieve in the operational value streams, why not use the same in the development value streams? That's what we're doing with the, the OKRs. It's a way of connecting the qualitative pattern that we are often using for expressing our strategic goals. We're saying, hey, let's reach for the moon. We're saying, let's take over this part of the world. We're saying, let's achieve a higher amount of buyers in our online store, right? That's nice, and it's a very emotional and inspirational, perhaps, way of thinking about a business. But how do we know that we are on track? How do we know that we're aiming for, that, that we are reaching for what we're aiming uh, at? Um, in OKRs, the objectives and key results, we add the key result part. That's where we can put the quantitative measures. So that's what I like about it, that we are combining, let's say, gut feeling. Sometimes strategy is about gut feeling. Something, sometimes it is about reaching for what you really, really want. But we also need to understand how to get there. Are we getting there? Well, we look at our key results and see whether we are reaching that goal. So the key result is by definition, a quantitative part goal of the objective. And in SAFE, we are expanding the strategic themes into the objectives and key results. The key results, we are expressing them with real figures so that we can measure them. Yes, I know, let's be careful of what we measure and what we're becoming if we measure too much. But let's also know how far have I gone how long, how long do I have to walk more to reach my goal? That's what we get in, in the strategic themes and OKRs. To me, it's about showing intent and closing the intent loop by asking the question, we as an organization, we have this intent. We want to reach that market. We want to head for that customer base. What can you do? You, the people of my organization, what can you do to help us all reach that goal? So that's the intent loop. And if we have a way of expressing our objective and collaborating around feasible key results, then I think we reach that collaboration that I want to see. So keeping it simple, let's just look at if we are moving the authority where the information is, we will also get an informed answer back. Yet again, the intent loop. So 
we want to have an increased revenue from an awesome e-commerce site. That's what we want to have. But how do we measure that? Well, let's get into a room, discuss the possible key results. So an increased MPS, well, that will probably generate returning customers. Decreasing the abandoned carts, a direct connection to the revenue, of course, right? But we still have a guarding key results, which is let's not bring down the physical stores in order to gain new, new, a new market in our e-commerce. So have that in as well. When we have this informed answer, we can combine the qualitative and quantitative progress measures. The metrics that we will have is of course that we can look at how long have we reached as of today? Let's put a number on it. Here, there's an example of percentages. When we are reaching 72% of the increased MPS, well, I don't, I don't know how much that would be, probably 77%, right? And we're pretty convinced and confident that we can reach that goal. So we should continue on it. Well, we've had pretty bad experience with reaching the number of uh, abandoned cars that we want to save, right? So we have a low confidence on that one. Maybe it's time to pivot. Maybe it's time to focus elsewhere. So we're not pushing in bad money, good money after bad, right? So we can also use this in order to pivot and make new decisions as we go along. Because get what? guess what? Strategy has to change. Have you been curious when you're looking at OKRs, looking at combining them and comparing them to the epics? This is a place where I see a lot of organizations struggle. How do you connect your key results and objectives to the epics that we're using in SAFE? Because the epics, they are where innovation happens. That's the sort of work items that inspires and results in features and stories and whatnot you have in the rest of your organization. So a key result. Doesn't that look pretty much right, like a leading indicator? I do think so. So I think that we, what we can do is looking at the key results and then putting that something according to, uh, along those lines into the leading indicators of the epic definition. And of course, the objective. Well, if that isn't the business outcome, you might be a little bit on the wrong track. So you can use the objective, not only to inspire and define the business outcome, but you can also use it to actually start working on your hypothesis statement. When we're using OKRs in large organizations, we often have an OKR cadence, an annual cadence where we set the long-term goal and we have reoccurring discussions, usually sort of in a quarterly basis. Why not? What we're saying here is connect that to the portfolio cadence. We already have the strategic review where we look at how are we, how are we performing? What are, how are we aiming towards our vision? So that's pretty similar to the basic QBR um, thinking when, when we are using OKRs as a system. Next to that, we have the monthly portfolio syncs. That's where we can review and look at how are we meeting our objectives and key results. So it fits very well with the standard suggested portfolio, uh, portfolio cadence that we have in the uh, Lean and Agile portfolio management. And what's best here is that we're constantly looking for the right KPIs for different value streams. And since the key results are quantitative, we can use the key results to set the KPIs for each value stream. Finally, the problem with OKRs. If you're not using a Kanban system together with OKRs in pure OKR-based uh, management systems, then 
we are often seeing that we are overloading the system. Of course, what I often try to do, try to achieve is limit the number of strategic themes. Well, that's easy, right? Don't do, don't start too much things at the same time. Well, you all know how that discussion goes in the management teams. So let's just make sure that OKRs are not work items. Trust the Kanban systems and use them to see work happening. OKRs and strategic themes are not workable items. You work on the features, stories, and epics connected to the strategic goal that, are def that is defined in the, in the um, OKRs and the strategic themes. So trust the connected campus systems. And of course, do not use strategic themes for anything else than achieving the future state. So don't define everything you do in the OKRs and strategic themes. Just use them for the future state and make sure to coach people very patiently when connecting those two systems. Thank you.